close to 300 media leaders from across the world participated in the news organization Standing Up for the Safety of Media Professionals Conference on the 5th of February, 2016 at UNESCO headquarters. They shared good practices and their perspectives on how to enhance the safety of journalists and to end impunity for crimes against journalists. This is the first global <laughs> conference that attended. Uh, the conferences we had were just there nationally in the Philippines. And uh, the narratives give resonance. The same things are also happening in our areas in many cases. So there is some kind of a feeling of unity, uh, a feeling that uh, we are not alone there, that similar incidents are also happening all over the world. That's the reason why there's a need for global cooperation. At the conference, we spoke with three of the participants. They are media professionals from the Philippines, Egypt, and Somalia, who have all received first-hand threats and attacks because of their work. In the past decade, over 800 journalists worldwide have been murdered, of which less than 8% of the cases have been resolved judicially. Actually, starting from uh, the Egyptian revolution, we had a lot of, uh, of, of threats that uh, reached this. And up till now, we have uh, 14 journalists who, who lost their lives in Egypt uh, since 2011 until today, which is a big number. Uh, so threatening of death is one of the things. Uh, uh, injuries, being detained. We have a lot of journalists who have been detained and still being detained until now, some of them. The main threats against uh, journalists can come from almost everywhere. It can come from organized crimes. It can come from drug syndicates. It can come from unscrupulous politicians. And of course, uh, warlords who feel that uh, they can also just remove somebody who is critical by just eliminating him physically. I can say journalism in Somalia is, is a very is very useful and it's a great job. But at the main time, is a, is a risk. As a journalist, we don't know what we can or we can't when it comes to coverage. So if you cover uh, a serious political issue, business issue, corruption issue, you might be at risk. You might be killed. We should really be very aware, aware of the uh, challenges a local journalist face because uh, the, when the war knocks on your door, it's different. Because we choose as a regional journalist or an international journalist to go to the danger, but when danger comes, it means that it not only endanger you, but endanger your family, your loved one. I lost friends. I lost friends. And I've seen people dying. But losing friends, it means that this war and this conflict becomes very personal because it stays in your life. But mainly I work in the Middle East, which is my region, and I was injured several times uh, during this conflict, uh, including an injury in my leg, uh, which is serious. Actually, it's hard to, to, to be standing for a long time. Somali journalists in Mogadishu usually they sit uh, a restaurant called uh, The Village. The village is a restaurant uh, where mostly get together the reporters. Uh, so uh, I remember we lost that restaurant more than four journalists, another ten were wounded. So and still the reporters are there, but uh, they remember uh, the painful memories of the loss of our colleagues. So and still they are there. They are committed to work. Uh, they are committed uh, to work in this uh, dangerous env uh, environment and to be a journalist as well. I think this conference is a different one because uh, it talks to uh, one important stakeholders in the process, which is the managers of uh, the media houses. Without talking to the managers, we are in no going nowhere. Because uh, if we talk to the journalists about their safety and we don't talk to the managers, that means that the journalist will still have to endanger themselves just to uh, owe their living or to please the manager and to stay and have their jobs. Solidarity amongst members of the press is very important. That means someone who wants to attack a media person must think twice because then he will get a group ganging against him, fighting him or running against him 
so that uh, justice will be better served. If there is nothing done against impunity, then you don't get a free press and uh, the whole public will lose that kind of constitutional right they have of uh, being informed. That's the reason why it should not only be the concern of members of media or the journalists, but the concern of the whole public itself.